Today, I'm reviewing Payload CMS and its API integration. If you're a business owner or in tech, being able to integrate external services with Payload CMS sets the stage for great adaptability and power. I'm Chris with Westside Technology Solutions. Let's see why this is so great. So first, I'll start a little bit with Payload and its API. Payload CMS is a modern headless CMS designed to give you complete control over your content. One of its most robust features is its powerful API, which allows you to connect your services via API to Payload really easily. This means you can readily integrate with other services, making your content management process incredibly efficient. The Payload CMS API offers both REST and GraphQL options, giving you flexibility depending on your project's needs. REST APIs use standard HTTP requests to interact with your data, while GraphQL allows for more efficient data fetching, reducing the amount of data sent over the network. This can be especially useful when dealing with complex data structures. So let's look at the API architecture. With the REST API, you'll be working with standard HTTP requests in a series of well-defined endpoints. For example, to retrieve user data, you might use an endpoint like API slash collection slash me. This provides a straightforward way to make requests and manage your data. And then of course, on the other side, the GraphQL API offers some other unique benefits. Instead of having multiple endpoints like in REST, you can request exactly the data you need with a single query. This makes it super efficient, especially when you're fetching nested data or dealing with customized queries. There's also a local API that you can use to fetch data from your server. Um, you basically, you get the same operations available through REST API and GraphQL, but you're doing this on the server, so you can use it in your templates or endpoints. So now I'd like to talk about a couple of the benefits of using Payload CMS's API. Here are three of them. The first one is flexibility and customization. You can extend almost every aspect of Payload from creating custom routes to modifying the admin user interface, adapting it to your specific needs. Next is efficient data fetching. We already talked about this a little bit, but using GraphQL enables you to optimize data retrieval as much as you can, which is particularly important in larger and more complex applications. This can significantly enhance performance and user experience. And finally, the third one, the Payload CMS API facilitates integration with external services. It supports various plugins and extensions that make it easy to connect with other applications like Stripe or SEO. When it comes to getting started with integrating, here are some tips. The first one is understanding collections. Collections in Payload CMS are akin to tables in a database. They help you manage different types of data effectively. Creating and managing collections is straightforward, allowing you to organize your content as you see fit. Collections also get several endpoints that can be used for integration right out of the box. Payload also comes with a built-in authentication system that works seamlessly with both REST and GraphQL APIs. Setting up user login, logout, and even password reset is simple and intuitive. The third tip is customizing the admin panel. If you want to tailor the look and functionality of the admin panel, you can do that using React components. This gives you the ability to replace default views and introduce your own custom components. The fifth tip is extending Payload CMS's functionality. You can use hooks and middleware, which allow you to integrate custom logic, making it easy to connect with other systems that don't already have plugins in place. You can even create custom API endpoints to enhance the functionality tailored to your exact needs. And then finally, the sixth tip is hot reloading and type strip support, making use of that. During development, hot reloading can save time and headache as it speeds up the process. Plus, comprehensive TypeScript support ensures that your code is type safe and streamlined. Payload CMS also offers pre-built integrations with popular services, whether it's for cloud storage or authentication solutions. 
These plugins can significantly enhance the CMS's capabilities, making it even more versatile and easy to work with. Finally, always make sure that you're following best practices when integrating with external services. I may go more in depth on this in another video, but this includes basics like handling errors gracefully and ensuring data consistency across the platforms. So let's talk just a little bit about how to set up REST API endpoints in Payload CMS. First up, just in case you're watching this and you don't already know, an endpoint is a specific path in your API that allows different external services to communicate with your Payload CMS. These are really important for customizing the functionality of your CMS and enabling integrations. Like I mentioned earlier, Payload CMS comes with endpoints out of the box, like the ones here that we looked at for the collections, but you can also add custom endpoints, and this is where the real magic can happen. To get started, you'll want to ensure Payload CMS is set up correctly, of course. Once that's done, you can create an array of endpoints in your configuration. To get started, you'll want to ensure that Payload CMS is set up correctly, of course, and once that's done, you can create an array of endpoints in your configuration. Inside of this array, you'll define each endpoint's path, which is essentially the route users will access along with its method, which specifies the type of HTTP requests, be it get, post, put, or delete. And of course, you'll include a handler, which is the function that processes incoming requests. Then once you've configured your endpoints, it's time to handle the requests and responses properly. This closely resembles how Express.js works, if you have ever seen that before. Basically, you create a handler function in which you write logic to process incoming data and send back the response that you want to. For instance, if you're fetching some data from your collections, you could use the local API payload.find to retrieve records and then return that data in the response, helping external services connect API for instance, if you're fetching some data from your collections, you could use the local API payload.find to retrieve the records and then return that data in the response, helping external services connect via API to Payload CMS. One of the really awesome features that Payload CMS offers is API keys for authentication. Understanding API keys is crucial because they provide a secure and efficient way to connect external services and control access and usage to your CMS and its data. So what is an API key exactly? API keys are unique identifiers that you use to authenticate requests from one service to another. It is a bit different than using username and password combinations, which might require user context. API keys are actually simpler. It's just a string of characters, basically, that you include in your request to validate your identity and tell the app who you are. To get started with API keys in Payload CMS, it's super simple. You just need to enable API keys in your collections. This is done by setting the use API key property to true in your collection configuration. Once that's enabled, you can generate individual API keys for each user or service directly from a new interface in the admin panel. And also just a quick note, when it comes to API keys, security is very important. Make sure to manage these keys properly, store them safely and avoid putting them in places like a public code repository, of course. You also want to limit the access to the API keys based on user roles and permissions. This ensures that only authorized users or services can make requests to your Payload CMS instance. So I'll just quickly review to wrap up some of the best practices for successful integration. Of course, when integrating, documentation and testing are your best friends. Thorough documentation of your API endpoints, data structures, and authentication methods not only aid in development, but also in onboarding new team members. Use tools like Postman or Insomnia for API testing to make sure everything functions smoothly before going live. Security is also paramount in API integration as well, of course. Always use HTTPS to encrypt your data in transit. Validate user input to prevent potential attacks. And remember to secure your API keys like I just mentioned. 
an attached and added layer of security is using HTTP only cookies, which can help against cross site scripting attacks. Lastly, always consider scalability and performance. As your application grows, caching frequently accessed data can significantly improve response times. Evaluate your API's capabilities regularly to ensure it continues to meet your growing needs effectively. So to wrap up, these are some of the things that I think make the Payload CMS API integration capabilities so awesome. I'm really excited for Payload CMS 3.0 to come out and start building things more and more. I really think by leveraging Payload CMS API integrations, you can enhance your content management capabilities, streamline your operations, and ultimately achieve scalable growth while optimizing costs. And remember, if you're looking to build user-friendly applications, automate part of your business processes, or you need some consulting help, I'm here to provide tailored solutions that meet your specific needs. If you're ready to take the next step in transforming your business through technology, I encourage you to reach out. Let's work together to create solutions that drive your success forward. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.